I'm on vacation if you're wondering how I'm putting out so many videos really fast here. Uh, I want to read something to you that uh, my son found on the internet that uh, kind of just emphasizes why people laugh at the creationists and the uh, people who are against evolution. This is a message that, some, this is a letter somebody wrote, I'm guessing, or it looks like an article actually that somebody wrote for the editorial section of a newspaper. Uh, anyway, I'll show you and I'll read along to you. This is in response to a letter of February 28th. Let me just say that I have proof that evolution does not work and should not be mentioned in public schools. First proof is that last year I planted some plants in my garden. Now the package on the seed said tomatoes, but I had faith in this evolution theory that you speak of and knew they would evolve into watermelons. Well, to my dismay, they were just common old red tomatoes. You would not believe how upset I was. Last night I looked at my children and thought, what a wonderful thing has evolved out of the two pet fish I have. No, wait. I still have my pet fish and two of the greatest gifts God could send someone, like myself that I call my children. In fact, I looked up my family tree and traced it back over 200 years and could not find anyone who ever had fins or scales. If you want to teach your family that they evolved, this, then this is your right, but please don't confuse facts with some theory you subscribe to. I do not know how children are born and how everything is in perfect place in the body but I'm pretty sure such, sure chance had nothing to do with it. One day when I die, I will be sure to ask the maker of the heavens and everything under, the, under them how he does it, and I will teach my children that all on this earth is from God, not some fish that decided to climb out of the water and decided to be human. Now, after you're done laughing and wipe the shot look off of your face, She's right on one point. It doesn't happen by chance. Evolution doesn't happen by chance. Evolution is a reaction or, or the uh, filtering out of changes that don't work from the ones that do, basically. Uh, she, she expected her tomatoes to grow into watermelons. Evolution doesn't happen like that. She expected her children to have evolved from fish evolution doesn't happen like that. Uh, she expected that somewhere in her family tree she would find someone that had scales. Evolution doesn't happen like that, or at least not on that short a period of time. Evolution is small changes that occur over thousands of generations, sometimes tens to hundreds of thousands of generations, before any change is significant enough to even be noticed. She wouldn't notice it in the 200 years that she can trace her family tree back, which is actually pretty good. Uh, she wouldn't see anything significant in a 200-year period. Uh, she, in, in a 200, yeah, in a 200-year period. She wouldn't see anything significant in a 200-generation period or a 2,000-generation period. She, it would take a lot longer than that for any changes to be noticed. She's expecting, like most Christians, that one... Evolution happens fast enough to have occurred within a 5,000 year period, or actually 4,000 years since the flood, that it occurred fast enough for that, or two, or and two, that um, it happens in a lifetime. That a person is born one thing, and as they are growing older, they evolve into something else. They really need to know what evolution is before they before they send letters like this because the uh, I don't know, maybe it says Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm guessing there's a lot of people there who thought this was a brilliant letter, brilliantly thought out, but it shows a complete lack of understanding of what evolution is. If you're going to argue against a theory, at least know how the theory works. And obviously she does not. Anyway, that's all I wanted to do. Talk to you later. Bye.